Let's jump in and get started. So the very first one is teachyoutosew.com. Now I use and reference the sewing niche quite often in my videos as a kind of a random example niche. Now this website is two years and eight months old. Uh, it has 242 pages indexed, and that means they've been publishing about seven and a half posts per month, which is just under two a week. Okay. They've got over 2000 keywords ranking and they're getting approximately 146,000 visits per month to their website in the peak time. Now I'm going to go through the estimated traffic on a lot of these, um, estimations are pretty bad to be honest, but I use the same method. So, um, even though they're not exact and specific on how much traffic they're getting, it's going to be relative. So the higher ones are doing better than the lower ones is what we're basing off of. And here's the site. So the first thing I notice is simplicity. They have a really big, bold promise, which is kind of up top. They're going to help me learn how to get sewing. This is beginner focused. Now I'm going to look up top, no real navigation, man, no real branding, no imagery. And they've got links to their top main areas, their top main categories below that we've got some blog roles on their most popular articles and they've got a search feature and the last sewing machine reviews they got their reviews and how-to articles accessory reviews simple the first thing i'm noticing here is that these are extremely simple there's no major content here there's not even an about us page up top I wanted to show you this one first because I want you to see how easy it can be to get going because clearly they just jumped in and started creating content. Well, what types of content are they creating? Well, this is where it gets pretty interesting. They are putting out, this is obviously a review site. This is a review table. These are all review posts, but this is a big time review page, right? They've done the work of building out the proper kind of affiliate stuff. Now you can see chapter two, they're linking this together in a silo. So they're literally linking up their different sewing machine articles one by one into big pieces of content. And it's just a lot of reviews. They decided they were going to go all in on this space and they're just reviewing all of the different sewing machines. Now, do they have tutorials on here also? Absolutely they do. They've got different tutorials on the different gears and how to use the tools and how to get started, which is why they're probably doing so well is because they're meeting people searching the how to stuff and they're doing the review based content here. So you can see, they talk about the types of fabrics. They talk about a lot of different components that are all related to sewing. And for someone who loves sewing, who loves to sew, and they've been sewing all their lives, this would be a fun side project that imagine 146,000 people coming to your website each and every month. Now, what I'm noticing here, we have no pop-up. We have no opt-in. We have no free patterns in exchange for the email list. They're not building an email list. And the opportunity here, if they are getting 150,000 visits per month, the opportunity is massive to take this thing to the next level. But the key for you right now is that they just started. It's not a beautiful homepage. That's not a beautiful professionally designed logo. This this is not a beautiful professionally designed layout. The imagery is different size on different ones. They just put out great content and they're ranking. They're ranking for over 2000 keywords. Next one we're going to go to is the architect's guide. Now this website here is actually getting the most traffic out of any website that we're, we're going to review. And it's definitely not the prettiest out of what we're going to review. And in fact, there might actually be a correlation here to not so pretty websites that are dominating, making a ton of money. So if you're building your site, make sure you're focusing on the content first, because that's what moves the needle, not the design as you're going to see over and over again. Now, this website has been live and indexed by Google for four years and eight months. Uh, that means an average with all of their posts, which is 345 posts live. They've done an average of six pages or posts per month. Okay. So that's less than two a week. That's like one and a half a week. Okay. So two, every other week, one, every week is essentially what they've done there. Um, 24,805 keywords are ranking for this website and they're bringing in approximately 3.9 million visits per month on their high month. Now, some of these websites have seasonality. So some of them go up and down throughout the month. And I picked the highest kind of highest point in the last graph here. So what I am noticing about this one that I like, and I think is going to, is part of why this person is so trusted and is doing so well 
they introduce themselves. Straight away, we can tell that this is not some random person hiding behind a keyboard using stock imagery, outsourcing rubbish content to rubbish people. He's a real guy. This is what he does. Very simple navigation up top. We've got the about page. I think about pages are so key. He's probably going to have a mission on that about page. And really, he just kind of gives you the proof of why you should pay attention to what he does straight into the product reviews, which is exactly what is making the money on this website. Architecture career advice because that's his niche. Um, getting an architecture job, that's his niche. And then the disclosure, and that's really it. So let's jump into the blog a little bit more. I want you to see the blog roll. You notice that was an extremely simple homepage that we were on. Now on the blog, this is an extremely simple blog roll. It's got a basic title, a basic description. You've got a sidebar. It's not the most beautiful website on the list by any means, but it's working better than just about any one of them. And I want to comment for 345 posts to be doing that well, he's doing something right. And what I think he's doing right is actually the fact that he's so focused in on the architecture world. I believe, and I would, if I was to dig into his backlink profile, that he's probably getting a ton of backlinks for people linking to him in the world of how to get an architecture job, because there's not a ton of great content in that world versus the best this or the best that type content. So he's attracting a lot of links to the helpful content that he's publishing. And then he's doing best reviews. I think he's even got a review on table saws on here. Let me type that in real quick. Now, I don't know if table saws are using architecture at all, but I saw that on the list and I was pretty blown away. Um, and indeed, the 10 best table saws and the 10 best tile saws. So what I'm pointing out here is specifically that this individual took their professional experience, stepped out into the light to share what they knew about their profession, about getting into the profession to help in that world. This helped them build their authority. And then he started reviewing other things. Now, again, I don't know enough about architecture to know if table saws and tile saws are important to architecture, it seems abstract to me. But what that means is once you build your core, you can actually start to go out to those next levels. And table saws and tile saws probably are a relatively high ticket product, which means they probably have a pretty good affiliate commission associated with them. Again, he's building trust on every single page with that image, who he is about him, and he goes straight into it. And what is he using? Looks like it's Amazon Associate Program. So straight into it pretty simple stuff. He's literally decided to go in through the architecture niche as his entrance point into the world, but yet he's branching out from there. You can do the same thing on your website. The highest trafficked website on the whole list is right here. So let's jump on to the next one. I'm going to keep this efficient for you because again, at the end, I'm going to tell you the number one thing that they all are doing the same, which is the one thing you must be doing. So the next one is the healthyhandyman.com. Now, the healthyhandyman.com has 1180 posts indexed, which is pretty impressive for that to be indexed. And it's only two years and 11 months old. So in under three years, they've done 1100 posts, which is crazy. So that means they've done about 33 posts per month on average. That's damn near one a day. It's actually over one per day on average for about three years straight. That's how I grew this channel so quickly. Now this website's getting approximately 2 million visits per month on its most popular month. And you see right here on the homepage, we've got a smiling, looks like maybe handy man person and they got their promise home improvement simplified for handyman and DIY enthusiasts. Now here's the thing I went on there about, I don't think that's actually the guy. This is stock imagery, which means they have a huge opportunity to have someone step out as the actual face and the actual trustworthy individual of the brand. Cause this is 100% focused as a big time Amazon review site. So they're ranking right now for about 17,113 different keyword phrases. And again, they've done this through 1100 posts. So this is one of the more aggressive on the content side in the entire uh, list that we're going to be going through. And I want to show you what they're looking at. So right now we're getting into gardening season. Uh, this was last updated April 13th, which is just a few days ago. And they're talking about rototillers because a lot of people are looking about rototillers. And this is just your basic standard box standard affiliate review website. Um, this is kind of what they're showing. Um, and ultimately there, this is a post that's about the difference between the two types. Now, when we click, oh, that's not even going to an affiliate link. Let me see here real quick. There we go. So now here is where we find 
Adam Harris, and you can see that Adam is a writer for them, and he's got a great passion about everything he writes about, but I don't know if Adam actually runs the website. So this site, in my opinion, would probably have been completely outsourced, 100% outsourced by other writers, and this is ultimately what they're trying to get. Now, you notice the first one I went to was not actually a review site. I thought it was right away. It's an information site. So we can look at the top of their blog roll, how to winterize information, uh, front time versus real time, that's information, zero turn versus writing mower, that's information. And then we get into the best budgets. And again, to build authority, similar to what we saw on the architect website, there's certain pieces of content that are just value to an audience. Then there's other pieces of content that are designed to be reviews that are designed to get clicks and ultimately make commissions. And that's what they're doing here. And they're doing this in mass. I think this is an impressive website for being under three years old and getting 2 million visits per month. Um, that's extremely impressive. And also the ability to publish almost 1200 posts and get 1200 posts indexed in in under three years. That's also very, very impressive. So I think this is a great example of what you can do in a short period of time if you've got a budget or if you're extremely aggressive with your activities. Um, and then you can just go through the different ones, right? He, he breaks it up into certain organizations, search feature. But again, look at this blog, right? There's there's nothing fancy going on here. There's nothing special going on with this blog. It's not a extremely custom or beautiful look of a website at all. Like it's a basic WordPress website and it works because they're focusing on what matters, which is the content. So the next one we're going to go to is brewcabin.com. Now I debated whether to include this one because I know the guy who's built this has talked about his numbers and he's really not making very much money from this website, but I'm including it because I think it's a great example of a hobbyist approach to really, truly building a successful niche business. Now, the guy who runs this has multiple other websites that are more valuable and that deserve his attention. So I believe the reason why this website is only making about 10 grand a year is because it's a hobby for him. He really is sharing his hobby. And if someone was to go all in on this and to really increase the amount of true affiliate posts that are in here, they could maximize big time. You can build a membership site around this. You could build a forum, a community. There's a lot of ways to monetize this type of audience. So what has he done? Well, in two years and nine months, so again, we're under three years old, uh, 290 posts published, which in 33 months, that's the total. We're looking at just over eight posts per month, which is probably two per week, really. That seems to be the schedule for a consistent amount of time. It's ranking for 841 keywords, and at its peak, I saw about 80,000 uh, visits per month. And again, these traffic estimates are estimates at best. It could be, I, I don't know what the actual numbers are from there. Uh, so here's what I do like about this website simplicity. Now going for the email opt-in right up top, we're kind of missing the boat. There's no real promise. There's not, nothing like, Hey, let get the exact thing. Uh, you know, for home brewers, this is just kind of like the title of the website and then a subscribe button. This obviously could be massively improved by using direct response marketing. So then I'm going to look in and this is what I mean when this site has a lot of room for improving in the sense of a massive amount more monetization available. So we've got the best fermenters. So that's probably an affiliate post, how to post complete list of everything on earth in that world, organization tips, maybe a review post beginner's guide to water chemistry. That's not a monetization post definitive guide to yeast washing. That's not a money post best propane burners for home kettle. That's a money post. Money posts are posts that are going to have lots of affiliate links inside of them. So what I'm getting at here is that for the first seven posts, only two of them were money posts. And then it kind of goes on, right? The next money post is actually down here, which is another seven deep. So his ratio is six free value posts to one money post. I would literally flip that on its side. As I said, in the tutorial that I've got my sites, we run about 80, 20. So on a pure affiliate site that I want to build to three grand, five grand, seven grand a month or more quickly, I'm doing 80% review posts and I'm doing 20% how to posts. So that's the kind of shift that could be done here. But if you notice the website, the homepage, there's no content here. Like this is all dynamic. This is all just his blog. So there's no, there's no talking about who he is. There's no static content here. And when you go to the website and you look at the actual content, it's simple. This is a single column layout. There's no sidebar. There's nothing fancy. There's nothing special about this layout. Lots of imagery, lots of helpful. He does have some affiliate links 
inside of those how to posts, which is great. So that's where it's making some money, but he's not hitting the best, uh, water test kit or the best process. Cause some people probably do search that phrase as well. I just want you to see how simple this is. And again, this thing's bringing in upwards of 80,000 visits per month. Now let's go to the next one, which is in the photography niche. And we're still bouncing around in many senses, I think, from um, professional services. So you had the architect in the beginning. Um, we had the handyman. Those are kind of the professional worlds. And then we've had the hobbyist stuff, the sewing website, the brewing website. And here is photography, okay? And photography is a massive world. You maybe have seen me review another website in this space that does over a million dollars per year in the photography space. And yet here's another one. So what that tells us right away is there is plenty of room for many, many, many super successful websites in each and every niche. Now, what I really like about this website is number one is today's hot deals. This is a reason for a viewer to come back regularly. I want to know what the hot deals are today and camera people buy lots of gear. You need new lenses. You need new this, you need new that new lights, etc. So they're always buying new gear. And if they're coming back to you to look for what the deal is of the day today, that means you have a really good opportunity to get Get lots of affiliate links clicked on by your audience. Now this website has over 2000 URLs uh, indexed by Google. Oh, excuse me about that. So it's got 2090 indexed six years and one month old, which means they've been doing approximately 28 posts per month over the course of those six years. Um, Number of keywords ranking is 12,842 for a total of right around 920,000 visits per month. Now, when we look at this homepage, this is organized very well. This is organized very um, focused, thoughtfully for the user themselves. So inside of your camera bag, the first thing that they're showing, which is, this is brilliant, by the way, is they're looking at the professional photographers who probably have massive brands, I would assume on Instagram and elsewhere. And they're looking at these individuals of what gear do the pros use. This is a brilliant concept because a lot of times people want to use what the professionals use. I mean, if you've ever seen somebody wearing a pair of Nike Air Jordans, it's that concept broken down into this unique specific niche. Then we go down deeper into specific gear guides. So I don't know who those gurus are. I just want the gear itself. Give me a gear guide, cheapest full frame camera guide, best travel cameras, discounts for photographers, um, best lenses for best contact. These are the money posts. They're all grouped together right here, neat and tidy. Then learn and improve. This is the how to do the craft. Again, we have to blend those two types of content um, down here, more gear reviews and more reviews and so on and so forth. Uh, so let's go into the reviews really quick to take a quick look. And let's go into the camera reviews and you'll see this is just a super simple blog roll with just an image and a title. You go into the actual review and we are back to a single column website. It's not even aligned correctly. The column is aligned left and the text of the image is aligned middle. Um, I, it's not a beautiful website in my personal opinion. It's got some issues to it, but you know what? It's working because they're moving forward and they're doing what it takes. And you notice if you see the size of the scroll bar in the top right corner, this is a very comprehensive post. This is a very long post, not only talking about the different pieces of the puzzle, but showing what they do in action. Um, this is the type of content that ranks really well in this niche. And that's it. They're cranking it. They're doing extremely well, nearly a million super niched individuals who are super focused on what they're doing and really interested to what they're doing are coming back to this website over and over and over. And they give them the how to content along with the review content, pretty powerful stuff right here. They've built a major audience. The next one we're going to go to is weldingchamps.com. Now this could potentially be a, a merger of a hobby, a hobbyist artist or a professional. Okay. Somebody who's been a welder for years. They've just, they're just tired of smelling like smoke. They're tired of being in the welding shop and they want to build something on the outside. I think this is a brilliant example of someone who's taking their experience in this world of metalworking and they're helping people who want to, or need to get into the world of welding, whether it's someone who's tired of being a plumber and they think making, they'll make more money as a welder or whether it's just some guy with a shop who wants to start welding and doing art welding, they're catering to both audiences from their experience. Now, 
we're looking at this super simple website, right? We literally have an image up top and then we have a blog roll and that's it. There's nothing more than that. You can see they've got their most popular posts and then their buyer's guide. The buyer's guide's obviously where they're making their money. And you can see they have projects up top and then they've got it broken out by welding safety gear, the different gear and the different welders. Cause these are the different types of welders. And that's all probably cobbled together right here in the blog just a normal basic blog roll. There's nothing fancy going on here. This is not, this is probably a free theme. If not, you could absolutely replicate this with the free theme I mentioned in my free affiliate marketing course that we went through. And when we click here, you're gonna see it's got a sidebar with a search. It's got their kind of uh, mission statement, if you will, their most popular posts. And we're just into yet another review post. And that's it. They're just doing the work. So this website has 100 posts indexed. It's been two years and eight months live, which means they put up about three posts per month. They are currently reaching something to the tune of 350,000 visits per month on a good month, which is absolutely amazing through about 2,390 keyword phrases. Oh my gosh, this is the power of the niche, right? This is the power of somebody who's been doing this professionally. They've been doing this as a hobbyist. They know their way around a TIG welder, a MIG welder, or a stick welder, etc. They know their way around a metal shop and they're sharing their knowledge with the world. And there's a hungry audience of people searching every single day for this type of information. And that's, that's true in every world, whether it's the equestrian world, whether it's horseback riding, whatever it is, crocheting, etc. Every, this is how the world works today. So let's go on to the next one, which is Modern Castle. Now, I think Modern Castle is a brilliant website for how they have been able to build trust effectively quickly. And they're probably the best on the list at this. Now they're super clean. Okay. You've just got white and blue modern castle reviews products for home. That's what they do. They're telling us what they do. Uh, and then they have a search bar up top and I just hovered over the navigation. You can see how much content they actually have here. So modern castle has 654 posts indexed. They've been alive for two years and five months. That is an aggressive growth rate. They've done an average of 22 posts per month, which is something to the tune of six per week, give or take probably about five and a half per week um, is what that would average out to 6,158 keywords are driving traffic to this website. And they get about 550,000 give or take um, visits on a good month. Now these visits that they're getting are super focused on products. Everything they do is 100% about products. And you notice on their homepage, I didn't have to scroll down far. They're really big and they're really proud of their testing process. And they say what they do for research test. And when we go to their learn more, which is kind of, this is a part of their about page that I just went to. They actually show they make messes. They have like a room in their house where they buy the product, they bring it home, they make a mess and they actually physically test the product themselves to really kind of come up with their own rating process. And what this this does is it puts them leaps and bounds above and beyond every other affiliate website who's just taking rubbish content and just just going after the keyword phrases without thinking about the actual user, the actual reader who really truly wants to find the best vacuum cleaner or the best smart home, this, that, the other. They're also, they've got their pictures right on top. They talk about who they are, what they do, how long they've been at it, the categories they're in. So they're building trust. Now, what does that trust get them? Well, Let's say you're searching around for a new vacuum cleaner and you're in, you want the, the best Dyson vacuum cleaner, for example, which I think they rank for that phrase, which is absolutely remarkable. Um, and you, you go through their review. You're like, wow, these folks, they know what they're doing. I bought it. I'm good. When you're ready to buy another home appliance, when you're ready to buy another home, something you default back to them. So instead of just going to Google and starting the search over again, their audience is who I'm talking about. Their audience is going to go to modern castle and they're going to search on the brand because they trust the brand. Why do they trust the brand? They know who they are. They're smiling faces. They have great content. They know they actually buy the product and take the review. This is their differentiation in process. Now, do you have to do that? Obviously not. You don't have to. Does it add value to your user? Absolutely. Does it make you more trusted? Absolutely. Does it give your user a reason to come back to you versus Google when they want to buy something else in the future? Absolutely. And that's the value that they're tapping into. And I think that's why they've grown so quickly. Um, they're supporting multiple people from home, like full time with this gig. Um, so I think modern castle is doing things wonderfully. Let's look at their review real quick. Single column, got a table, table of contents. They do videos, content, 
pretty simple, right? Like it's, it's all the same sort of structure in this world, but you'll notice they've actually got a lot of content on this because they've done a lot of reviews and they've been at it for a very long time. And they, this is what builds the trust when people find their content is how, how much depth there is to it and how much transparency there is to how they do. Personal opinion, these types of sites are going to win in the one year, three year, five year range. And the kind of rubbish made for Amazon, just put up whatever you can and go and, and don't really get your hands on the product and you don't know about the niche and you don't love, you don't care about the niche, just make money for the sake of making money. Those are going to die off. Eventually Google will figure out how to eliminate the rubbish content and promote this type of content. Um, and that's why I think building it for the long term is the best idea to get started. Next up on this one, let's go to um, toolsfirst.com. Now, toolsfirst.com has 235 posts. They published those in three years and seven months, uh, 43 months old. So that means about 5.4 posts per month, which is like 1.2 per week. Okay. It's like one per week. And then, then once in the month, they did an extra one, if you will. Uh, not that much content is what we're actually getting at here, but they've been with it again for quite some time. They've been with it for three years and seven months. Let me just put a little note here so I can keep myself focused on where I'm at. 3,822 keyword phrases are bringing them traffic and they get about 538,000 visits per month. So they get a very similar amount of traffic from the last one for about half of the keyword phrases. So they're probably ranking higher and they've done a third of the content from the last one. Okay. They've put less effort in and they've gotten greater results out. Now, why? Well, we could dig in to try to see and understand why. Now they say right up top that the, what these are tool guides for DIYers and contractors. Perfect. People who need tools come here and they can trust it. Um, in-depth guide, unbiased view, completely free. They're going for the trust. Here's what you get. Here's why to trust us and on to the next. You can see up top, sanders, saws, power tools, hand tools, machinery. They've got it all broken down. This site has been extremely focused. Every single post has a purpose on here. They have been so detailed with their approach. It's wonderful to look at. You notice there's really not much content here on the homepage. Um, we've got the promise, then we've got kind of some, some credibility indicators, and then we're straight into the content itself. Um, you can look at the different buy, buying guides on how to get the right power saw, Sanders machinery. You know, this niche, one of the things that um, people want when they, when they obtain products in this niche, they want a lifetime product. You don't want to go buy another miter saw later, right? So, so people do like to get reviews and do take their time with reviews. Now I'm looking, it's a single column. It's a line left. It's not even centered. There's no sidebar. They just hit out the sidebar. Really simple stuff. This is not crazy. This is not amazing. Um, this is just content done over time. There's no real about us up top. They do say who Jacob is at the bottom. Um, he's just the editor. So we don't know who this is or what they're doing. I think there's a huge opportunity in there. Ah, we got the about us hidden at the bottom. Let's take a quick look. Do they have any pictures of who they are? That's a stock photo right there, uh, how we make money. So this is kind of generic, right? So somebody who actually was uh, a lifelong individual in the in the world of uh, carpentry and, and doing this, that, the other, who really steps out into the forefront could build trust more quickly than this in this world. And we're just kind of looking basic content. Here it is. It's the same sort of content done again, pros and cons. Here's why I like this one. Here's why I like that one. Pros and cons, star reviews, simple stuff. They've just done it 235 times over, which is only about five posts per month for about three years and seven months. They've stuck with it long-term. They focused in on a plan. They've run with it and they've been extremely efficient. The next one's an interesting one, especially in the world of nomads. Uh, it's called pack hacker. Now, Pack Hacker is two years and 10 months old, and they have published an astonishing 1,950 posts. Astonishing. I think that's the only word for that. Um, that breaks down to an average of 57 posts per month. They're almost doing two per day. They are absolutely the fastest growing, the, the fastest publishing out of the entire list. And it's pretty clean. Now, the first thing you're probably going to notice here in the top right is they have a membership program. And this is the first one that's been abundantly clear 
There are so many ways to monetize an audience beyond affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is often help people find what they want, help people get the right thing they're looking for. Great quick way to build authority, to get your content out, to get known and to earn income from that content. But there's always ways to build on additional revenue streams once you have that audience. And that's what they've built here. But we're not going to go too deep into that. Um, what I want to look at is how they're structuring their content. So they've got packing lists, guides and reviews, and it's all tied up in the blog and they're happy to talk about themselves here. Homepage, pretty simple. Here's the promise, your guide to smarter travel. That's it. They're just literally making travel smarter. And then you look down, they have a blog roll, a blog roll, a blog roll, no real content on top. Pretty simple stuff. Again, there's nothing fancy going on here. We have no fancy templates. This is really, really simple content. Um, let's go into the blog first. And let's see here. Okay, I think I chose a uh, random brands we could support how to work out when you can't get to the gym timely with what's going on in our world right now. Um, I believe that's probably actually a picture of one of the folks from here. I believe these are real pictures from them. Okay, they're not using stock imagery here. This is all center content. It's simple theme. There's nothing fancy. I would increase the size of the font. There's a lot of little things I would do to make this look better and to read better for users. But what do I know? They're crushing it. They're doing more than I've been able to do for sure here in this short of a time. Let's go to the about page so you can understand how they do the about. Um, they're happy to share their story of what they do. They want you to connect with them in other places, their processes, no imagery here, which is interesting, um, but they do allow you to connect with them in the different ways. And let's go into the reviews real quick. I want to find one of the review articles so we can see, are they following the similar structure? Now, this is really an interesting layout. So they've gotten a little bit fancy here on, on the layout. And their reviews are focusing on specific item reviews. So people who are looking for a review on like the Tom Bim sidekick, whatever that is, or a specific travel wallet. But I do know that they have the best blank for blank type reviews as well, um, which is kind of like the, let's see here. I'm gonna choose the organizers of pouchers. Wow. All right. Maybe I got to go somewhere else. Now this is, this is one of the things that happens when you build 2000 plus posts, um, extremely quickly is you kind of run out of, uh, you kind of make it uh, difficult for, uh, organization, right? Organization does become a, a bit of a challenge in some senses. And I want how to choose the best duffel bag. There you go. So this is, this is their way of kind of getting like, which one is the best. And theoretically, you know, this is just a standard. So this is kind of a fan, like this is what I would call the fanciest uh, template that we've seen. And this is over the top. Like I would, I would cringe if I saw this on mobile. I don't know how this would look on mobile. It's extremely image heavy, but you notice I'm still scrolling how much content there actually is on this page. These folks are content heavy. They understand the game is all about content and they're doing it again. This website has done almost 2000 posts in two years and 10 months. That's 57 posts per month. They're treating this like a business. They're treating this like a real content, kind of a digital content business, a digital media business. And they're probably seeing business like results from those efforts. The next one we're going into is gaming scan. Now, gaming scan, you, you've heard me talk about the gaming niche. Um, I think there's so much growth and opportunity. Uh, this world of esports and gaming is going to continue to grow and grow and grow. We have now seen IndyCar gaming, uh, actually like iRacing IndyCar, iRacing NASCAR has hit Fox Sports, uh, one of the sub Fox Sports, like not the main Fox Sports channel, but um, this world of gaming is going to continue to explode. And this website is only two years and six months old. And in two years and six months, they have done 1,040 posts. So they're on the throttle. They're doing more than one post per day on average. And that has net them, um, 14,977 keywords driving traffic to about 1.1 million visits per month. Now, this is the fastest growing one that I found for what they're doing. We're on their homepage and this is simply a blog roll. There is not even a promise. There's not even a, what we do. It literally is just their most recent post with their most popular posts on the right. And you go into more of a blog roll and then they kind of repeat that process over and over and they are just full speed ahead. So they're teaching you how to build your gaming PC. Guess what you need to do when you build a gaming PC, buy all the bits and pieces. Guess what they have links to do? Affiliate links to go buy all of the pieces to build the game. Teach them 
to get the result, sell them the pieces needed to get the result, the buying guides for the specific things, reviews, and that's it. You can search their site. This is pretty amazing. Okay. So what I want to go to now is let's go to the builds. I want to look at um, high end PC build. So they break up their build based on the budget. So they know what the kind of the limiting factor is for their audience member. Um, but now we're on the build and it's essentially going to teach how to build the best computer for $1,200. And if I'm able to click on these and I look in the bottom, these are absolutely affiliate links. So they're like, here are all of the things that you're going to need to buy. Um, affiliate link, affiliate link, affiliate link, affiliate link. And then below here's how to put it all together. Um, do they have the, how to put it all together or are they just selling the Interesting. So they're just selling the components of it. They're not even showing how to put it together. We just identified a way to improve upon what they are doing here. Um, in the gaming world, there's, there's so many directions it goes. It's a hardware intensive world. It's a software intensive world. And there's a lot of how to, which ones, et cetera, et cetera. And they're clearly taking a lot of different approaches to reviewing the hardware, connecting people with the right software and building a trusted brand in the process. Let's take a glance at one of their review posts. And what I'm looking for is a best of type review. They're doing a lot of reviews on individual specific posts, which is super con super common. Let's do um, best gaming. I'm just gonna search best gaming to see what comes up here. So best gaming computers under best gaming keypads. This is what I want to look at. So best gaming keypads 2020. So their main keyword phrase is best gaming keypads. And let's look, we got a sidebar here. We've got a basic uh, best of the best budget pick best value are right up top. Do you notice that there's, there's not much uh, time needed for me to say, oh, okay, cool. I want the best budget pick. Yes, I want the best value pick. Perfect. Um, then they talk about what they are. And it's again, a very, very similar layout, very similar thing. This is kind of the game, right? You're, you're noticing a pattern here at this point in time. Uh, again, extremely fast growth. And I think that has to do with how much their content, how much content they're publishing 1,040 in two years and six months. And also the niche itself, I think is on something that's trending up in a major way. And there's a lot of niches trending up right now because user behavior is changing. So we got three left. Let me get through these. And then I'm going to tie it all up with the number one thing that ties these all together. So the next one is asianefficiency.com. Now, I really like how they have a focused call to action at the very top inside of their homepage. Now, on other posts we saw, like the brew cabin, it was an irrelevant opt-in. Okay, there was no relevance to the opt-in. There was no headline. There was no promotion. There was no, um, you do this and I'll give you that. Right here, they're literally saying, want to boost your productivity? Get the exact same six-step morning routine used by highly successful CEOs. Give it to me. Opt-in onto the list, they're able to grow. They have a store. They have literally built well beyond just an affiliate review site. They also have a podcast. So they're multi-channel syndicating their content and they're putting up essentially the different trust icons here. Now, these are their most common pieces of content, right? They're most common things that people search for. They've got them readily available up top and that's it. It's super simple. They've got premium courses they offer here, but on the blog, you'll notice this all was built out of content. So they have 1600 posts indexed on this website. And when we look at their blog, it's pretty basic. You got the blog roll on the left and you've got the old school style opt-in on the right with the kind of get started, the, the main pieces of content that people like easily accessible. When we go into the actual blog post itself, super simple, one column straight down. Here's the best. Here's the best. Here's the best really simple stuff. So 1600 posts in nine years. So they've been around for quite some time. That's 108 months old, which means they've done an average of 14 posts per month, which is doing, um, what would that be? Like three per week on average, three and a half per week is about what they do. So one every other day is another way of looking at that. They have 1,052 keyword rankings and they're making, they're getting traffic about 130,000 visits per month in traffic. But the thing that they're doing really well is they're building an email list. They've got their own premium courses available. I don't see them down here, but I'll find them from the homepage real quick. Um, they've got their own premium courses available. They've got their own store, their own products, etc. Uh, which means that they probably started in the world as an affiliate. They started building the brand. They started putting out content. They started growing, growing the content, growing their uh, domain authority. And over time, they have been able to build out a lot of different monetization paths, which means they don't really have to stay on that best this for that best this for that 
hustle for long. Okay. They evolved beyond it. Now is someone who doesn't care about productivity, who isn't actually into productivity going to stick around for nine years and post 1600 posts? Absolutely not. Right. So they really have gone into a space and worked their way into a level of expertise, way better margins selling digital products, like 95% plus margins on organic traffic. Um, when you're selling your own products and it opens you up to greater lifestyle freedom. Um, but it all started through the brute force content marketing. The next one we're going to is in the swimming pool and hot tub niche. Now this website last year in 2019 earned something to the tune of $400,000. Um, it gets on peak somewhere around 2 million visits per month, but it's extremely seasonal, right? Because it's, um, it's summertime pool. What do I do with my pool? Okay. Uh, this website is 11 years and five months old. It's the oldest website in our world. Uh, when he was younger, he actually worked at a retail pool and spa place and he kept answering the same questions. People coming in, Hey, my, my, pool's green. Hey, my pool's cloudy. And finally he was like, well, maybe I just write all this stuff down and build it out into a website. So in 11 years and five months now, currently he has 339 pages indexed, um, which means about two and a half posts per month on average, long-term, you never know if they had more and they, they eliminated them, but two and a half posts per month over the course of 11 years is pretty crazy. Uh, 12,000 keywords ranking for a total again of upwards of 2 million, um, 2 million visits unique per month in the peak season. Now, this is a very clear promise. Keep your swimming pool and hot tub crystal clear year round. So he knows the most common challenges people have. They search, they get home, they go home from work. They look out back one day and they're like, wow, my pool is murky. My pool is green. My pool, my hot tub looks like this. My hot tub looks like that. They go to Google, they search for how to fix that problem. And he is educating them on that here. So immediately allowing the visitors on the website to sort themselves. Are you a pool person or a hot tub person? Because the content's a little bit different, but if we scroll down, we're just in a blog roll. Okay. This is really based on the same look as the, the brew cabin. It's the same owner as brew cabin. And just, uh, there's a lot of opportunity to, to improve upon this by adding a lot of great content that would support it on the homepage. Cause generally your homepage is what's going to get the most amount of backlinks coming into you. And also it gives you an opportunity to spread your domain authority around more effectively, which is just not happening. So right here, what is the pool? Perfect pool temperature email address, subscribe. There's no actual offer here. So this is completely missing a gigantic opportunity of building a relevant list. And instead it's just people think they're going to opt in and possibly learn what the perfect pool temperature is, but that's what the blog post is about. So what are we opting in for? That's not effectively communicated because this is just missing that direct response understanding. With that said, we can go down below. And you can see it's a very simple layout. Okay. It's one column. It's super simple. It goes through and it just tells you all of the bits and pieces you need to know. It's got the different links. He's got his videos going so he can show you how to use the different things on videos. And here are all of the things that you need direct from Amazon. This is someone who has brought industry experience in a unique industry that has people searching for answers. And he decided to take that knowledge and just start to apply it to the web. And again, over the course of 11 years has generated a business that is doing almost $400,000 per year. Uh, if 11 years seems like a long time, it probably is right. I've been doing, I've been working online for about 17 years at this point in time, but at the same time, I want you to ask yourself is what you're doing today. If you stick with it for 11 years, does it have the potential to get you to $400,000 a year? And if you're just doing day job stuff, the answer is probably going to be an astounding no, but if you're building an affiliate business that does become a possibility. Um, so let's jump into the last one here, which is garage dash gyms.com. Now this might actually be the least aesthetically pleasing one. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Now this post has uh, 1110 posts. This website has 1110 posts on it. They've been building this site for six years and five months. And they've been doing on average 14 posts per month, which is about one every other day, which is something about three and a half, four per week on average, give or take. They have 1,969 keywords ranking, and they're getting somewhere to the tune of 82,000 visits per month. Now I'm showing this one specifically. There's actually some bigger affiliate sites in the garage gyms world, um, that I, that I was looking into. And some of them have membership programs and reviews, and they have like forums and they have a lot of user generated content. Um, I didn't show those because they skewed the numbers. They have so many posts indexed. 
But it definitely is worth noting that there is a huge opportunity to go from here's how to build out a home garage gym to building a community and a membership around it. So you're no one's limited to what I would call simple um, affiliate websites. There's always a path for growth within these. But if you look, this is a simple, basic somewhat old school looking website. We have a basic blog role here that has the title, the featured image, and a little bit of text about it to continue reading. We've got a sidebar. Let's go inside of one of these quick reviews. Now this is an individual product review versus like a best this for that type review. And you'll notice it's super simple. They're selling um, gear. They've got print on demand that they're selling right here. Um, and you just go through, it's just a simple, here's what it is, here's how to use it, here's why you want this one. Uh, the overall rating, they have their own rating approach, right? Their own way to rate and they essentially allow you to go grab it right from here. And this is not an Amazon affiliate. A lot of their products run through different networks like um, Rakuten or Linkshare, whatever it is, or there's Commission Junction or Share Sale, whatever they are. I, I listed them all out in the last video, um, but this is it, okay? And let's go look at the about page real quick. Um, do we have an image of them on it? So no image of them on it. They're talking about themselves, but they're not showing themselves. And this is an amazing, example of what's possible with work over time. So here we're looking at the different racks that are available. These are a bunch of affiliate rank links in here, but again, we're focused. Okay. So this is in the fitness space. I had to get one in the fitness space in here because a lot of people are like, well, how do you do affiliate marketing in this space or that space? And we've covered a lot of different, um, options here. We've covered a lot of different ways to go about this and this fitness space, they chose not just people who want to work out at home, People who want to work out at home and build a proper garage gym. Do you think people build these garage gyms in a spare bedroom? Of course they do. Do they build these kind of home gyms in their basements or is it only garage? No, of course they do, right? They just focused in on a specific niche. And then that next layer of relevance was able to be built off of because whether you're building a home gym in a room, a home gym in a basement, a home gym outdoors, et cetera, uh, you're going to want about the same equipment and you're going to want a pro's opinion on what it takes. And who do we think are the pros in this day we live in? Well, when we go to Google and we search for that thing we're looking for, whoever shows up on the top of Google is actually the professional. That's who we trust. And that's leveraged credibility that we as marketers get from utilizing Google and from being content marketers and search marketers on Google. And this brings me to the one thing that each and every one of these websites has in common. They all started. They all had an idea. They all installed WordPress at some point in time. They all had a blank WordPress site that said, hello there, or hello world, and whatever that default first post is. And they all just kind of figured it out as they went along. They didn't know how they were gonna get to where they are today. They didn't even really know where they were going to be today when they first started. They knew that they were gonna jump in to the unknown and do something they've never done before. Maybe one of them had an understanding of what they had done before. Uh, maybe one or two could be their second project. But the truth is that they started with a blank slate, just like I did. My wife and my website that's reached 40 million people that's generated millions upon millions of dollars online that we've been running for 10 plus years. It gets 800,000 visits per month on a good month. Um, we had no idea what that was gonna be like. We had no idea how to do it. We had no, we just knew we were gonna put out content. We were gonna build something around here. And staying focused on the audience, creating the exact kinds of content that the audience wants, really following the plan that I laid out in that free affiliate marketing training. And if you haven't seen that free training, I'm gonna have a pop up here on the end screen so you can click and watch it. Again, the link is down in the description because that gives you the path how you can build what we just saw here. And these sites combined have made millions and millions of dollars. My personal websites, have made millions and millions of dollars. And I know that you can create the business of your dreams online as long as you do what each one of these folks did. They started publishing content, even though they didn't exactly know how it was all gonna work and they kept with it on the long run. Some last basic numbers for you here, some averages, okay? So the average of all 13. So on all 13, on average, they had about 850 posts indexed. That's how many things they've published on average. And on average, they did that in about four years and five months, which on average is about 18 posts per month. That's all of them. Now let's look at the averages really quickly. Um, the three year and younger segment. Okay. So there were a bunch of them that were three years old and younger, and there were the ones that were older. 
under three years old, um, the average number of pages index is 779 in two years and eight months, which means they've done 23, 24 pages per month, which is four per week, six per week, definitely six per week, math on the fly. Um, the younger sites are working harder. The younger sites that are succeeding and rising to the top are publishing more than the older sites. Now looking at the older group, older than three years, 953 pages published on each, but that's in six years and nine months, which means they're doing about 12 pages per month, which is closer to three per week. So what does that tell us? And you've heard me say this before, your competitors that are out there and every niche has competitors right now, you're never going to find a niche that has no competitors. Every niche out there that has competitors just means they have a head start on you. That's it. So if you look at the data, those older than three year websites are publishing about three times per week. And those younger websites that are actively clawing at it, that are hungry, that are showing up every day, they're posting about twice as often and they're gaining on them and they're capturing market share and they're getting the keywords They're It's working for them. So what's the truth? The truth is you have to jump out in the unknown and you have to create massive amounts of content. And the more you're able to really wedge yourself in to a unique niche, right? The, the garage gyms, the architecture, the, the home brewing, the gaming, the, the welding champs, right? Like these sub niches are growing more quickly because they're super targeted. The really big broad sites take longer but they can do more. And when you find your entrance point in that allows you to get into a space, you can always build those next layers of relevance out from there. Just like we saw with the architect selling the tile saws and the table saws, etc. The biggest thing I want you to get is that you have to start. And on my site, on my website at milesbeckler.com, if you go to the top, you're going to see there's a how to start a blog. I'm going to actually show it to you really quickly here. You can see that there is a how to start your blog post up top and it's free to sh I show you exactly how to do it for free. And I'm doing this because I want you to get into motion. I want you to get into action. My wife and I started our business. It's right here on the top navigation. Start your blog. My wife and I started our business with a $95 and 40 cent investment in domain name and hosting. I had to figure out how to install WordPress myself. I had never done it before. I had no idea I had to figure out how to install my first themes by myself today. It's cheaper. You can get started for under $40 and they'll do all of that tech stuff for you that I had to figure out. But right here, start your blog. You can see exactly step-by-step -step how to get going. You need to build out a WordPress blog to get your foundation built so you can start building on it. And from there, it's content, content, content. That is the name of the game. That's why all of these websites are successful. They're bringing in millions of dollars because they're using content to help connect Google searchers with the answers they're searching for. And oftentimes those answers require them to buy something. And that's where the affiliate marketing comes in. I hope this has been helpful. Be sure if you have not watched the free training, the free affiliate marketing training, it's going to pop up again on the end screen. Watch that. Leave me a comment with your questions. Thank you very much for your time. Go forth, be of service to your audience. You'll be amazed at what you create and I'll see you on the next video.